Hi. In today's video, we will see how we can create a proportional funnel plot in Excel. We have another video which talks about the funnel plot creation using R. Let's see how we can do a similar chart in Excel. So here is our data. We have some data for different comorbidities and number of cases and number of deaths in each of those comorbidity areas. So this is a fictitious data. So let's explore it further and try to create a chart like this. So first of all, we need to calculate the case mortality rate. Case mortality rate is nothing but deaths divided by the number of cases in that particular comorbidity. So once we have that, now we calculate the overall mortality rate, which is nothing but sum of all the cases, which we did here, and sum of all the deaths which we had here. And then if you divide the overall deaths by overall cases, you get the overall mortality. So for the sake of simplicity, what I've done is I've actually copied this value in all of these rows. So let's calculate the standard error, which is done by this formula. So E2, so the square root of E2 multiplied by 1 minus E2 and then divided by B2. So that gives us the standard error. Now let's calculate the lower confidence level for 95% confidence interval. So this is E2 minus 1.96 and F2. So it's basically your overall mortality rate minus 1.96 multiplied by the standard error. And similarly, I've done it for all the columns. Notice that in this, we said minus, E2 minus, because this is the lower, lower line of the, or the lower envelope. Now we want to calculate the upper one, which will be E2 plus 1.96 multiplied by F2. Similarly, we would like to calculate the 99.7% confidence intervals as well. And that can be done by, this can be done by E2 minus three star F2 or three multiplied by F2, which is your standard error. Notice that in the 95, you used 1.96 and in the 99.7, you're using three and multiplying it by the, by the standard error. And similarly, we have the upper confidence level. In this case, we were using minus and in the, the upper one, we are using the plus. And now our data is ready. This is all we need to create a chart like this. I'm going to highlight everything and say insert. Maybe a line chart. So that'll do. Make it bigger. Now let's see. Do we need this? This is the cases. We don't need this. So I'm just going to delete this. And this is the deaths. Do we need it? No, just going to delete it. So now it's looking a bit more into shape. Now, this is the UCL or upper confidence level interval for 99.7% confidence intervals. I'm going to change this to smooth line. Similarly, this is the UCL 95. This is all going to be smooth as well. This is smooth. This is smooth. Now, so I'm just going to change the colors. So starting with this, let me make this as red color. So the last one, which is up the lower level of this 99.7, would also have to be colored as red. So it makes sense now. And maybe these ones can give any color. Let's say this orangish color. And this also. And this, what is this? This is the overall mortality rate, which is a straight line because remember we copied all these values up there so that we could actually get a straight line there. I'm going to change this into either gray or a black. And this is the most important bit. This is the actual case mortality rates. And we would want this to be represented in this into an XY getter plot. And most important bit, uncheck this we don't want a secondary axis we just want to have everything on the same axis this is what you get these are the individual case mortality rates i can right click on that so i'm going to say add data labels 
and click on this. Now we suddenly got the values which were represented there. But let's change them. And how do we change? If I select these points, and I can say add data labels. I'm going to add data labels now. And let's go and format the data labels again. And this time, where do we want to see the data labels? We want to, we don't want to see the legend key because the dots are already there. Uh, we have the Y values. We want the X values so that we know this is for renal, this is for Down syndrome, this is for asthma, obesity, etc. And number can be formatted as percentage. I think now it's making sense of this chart. I can do a bit more. I can change the position of the label. I can center it. I can put it on the left side of it, above it, or below it. I think above or below looks all right. So I think this will do. So, and then you can obviously change the chart title. Finally, we'll have to get rid of the standard error. We don't want to see the standard error. So this is the chart. Now, what is this telling us? This is telling us that though there are different proportions for, for example, renal has very less cases and very less deaths. And on the other hand, you have cardio, which has very high number of cases and more number of deaths. So this is actually comparing all this disproportionate data. It's actually comparing the data and saying, telling you that Okay, obesity has higher deaths compared to the others because all the others, the, for example, these ones are bang on the, on the overall mortality rate. Asthma is a bit of an outlier because it is outside the 95% confidence interval. Obesity is also on the higher scale. So asthma is on the lower side of the scale. That means the the deaths are much less compared to the overall deaths or compared to the other uh, individual comorbidities which are higher and obesity seems to have excessive deaths and this is above 95 percent confidence interval and pneumopathy has very very low number of uh, deaths so this is an outlier but in a good sense because this is on the lower side of the confidence interval what does this x-axis tells you this is only placing the on the right hand side you have more number of cases and on the left hand side you have less number of cases but we are not comparing the cases we are comparing the case mortality rates so on the, on the y-axis we have the case mortality rates i hope you found this information useful and practical thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one